The President of Poland is directly elected using a two-round system for a five-year term, with a two-term limit. Andrzej Duda's first term will expire on 6 August 2020 when he will reaffirm his oath of office before the National Assembly, a joint session of the same and Senate and begin his second term. Pursuant to the provisions of the Constitution, the President must be elected by an absolute majority of valid votes. If no candidate succeeds in passing this threshold in the first round, a second round of voting is held with the two candidates who received the largest shares of the vote. In order to be registered to contest the election, a candidate must be a Polish citizen, be at least 35 years old on the day of the first round of the election, and have collected at least 100,000 voters' signatures by 10 June 2020 at midnight. Polls opened on election day at 7 o'clock Central Europe Summer Time and closed at 2100 Central Europe Summer Time, UTC plus 2. The election was originally scheduled for 10 May 2020, which caused extreme political controversy related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Many candidates, constitutionalists, and even politicians from the ruling coalition criticized the government's plan of holding the election as originally scheduled during the pandemic. As a compromise, the agreement political party proposed lengthening the president's term by two years, which was supported by the Minister of Health, Łukasz Zamowski. This was rejected by the opposition. The main opposition party, Civic Platform, wanted the election to be held in May 2021. The ruling, Conservative Party Law and Justice, also wished to change the electoral rules and to organize the election by postal voting only. Changing election rules less than six months prior to voting was ruled to be unconstitutional by the Constitutional Tribunal in 2011. Voting only by post is considered unconstitutional by some including Polish Supreme Court in a non-binding opinion. At 2.26 early in the morning on 23 April, every Polish mayor and city council president received an anonymous, unsigned email from Poczta Polska, Polish Post, saying that they were required to deliver the private data of 30 million Polish citizens including their PESEL, national identification number, date of birth, address, and other private data in a .txt file format lacking any passwords or security. Many Polish mayors and city council presidents, lawyers, and other citizens criticized the order to provide such private data, stating that the order violated the GDPR and Polish law, since the legal act referred to in the email had no legal validity, it concerned a bill that was still undergoing legislative procedures. Citizens and other officials stated their intention to file a lawsuit to the prosecutor's office about the possibility of crimes being committed by the government-run Poczta Polska and by the politicians responsible for the regulation. On 29 April 2020, 11 days before the planned election date, election candidate Stanislaw Zaltyk presented a copy of an electoral ballot at a press conference. The copies contained the names of all the candidates and other forms to be filled by voters. Zaltyk said that he received the ballots from workers of one of the companies that was printing and preparing electoral documents. Poczta Polska notified the Internal Security Agency about the leak. As of 2 May 2020, Polish law did not authorize Poczta Polska to organize postal voting except in a small number of special cases. On 30 April 2020, four former Polish presidents and nine prime ministers called for a boycott of 2020 presidential election, on the grounds that the election would be unconstitutional and could not guarantee the confidentiality of voters. On 6 May, Jarosław Gowin, the leader of agreement, and Jarosław Kaczynski, the leader of law and justice struck an agreement to move the election. The two parties had earlier been engaged in a political struggle over whether the election should proceed in May. On 7 May, the same approved legislation for the election to be held via postal ballot. The same day, PKW announced that, the current legal regulation deprived the National Electoral Commission of the instruments necessary to perform its duties. In connection with the above, the National Electoral Commission informs voters, election committees, candidates, election administration and local government units that voting on May 10, 2020 cannot take place. The movement of the election day was met with support and opposition from both the anti- and pro-law and justice spheres of Polish politics. An opinion poll for Urza Pospolita gauged public support for the Gowin-Kaczynski agreement at 43.5%, 
with 36.3% being against, and the rest undecided. The following candidates have been nominated by parties represented in the same. Incumbent President André Duda was eligible to run for a second term. On 24 October 2019, in an open letter to the elected members of the same and Senate, PIS Chairman Yaroslav Kaczynski announced that the party will strongly support André Duda in next year's presidential election. In the first round he won a plurality of 43% and went on to face challenger Rafal Terzaskowski in the second round in which he won re-election with 51% of the vote. Nominee. Donald Tusk was widely expected to make a comeback in Polish politics and to run for president, all the more so given that his European office expired at the end of 2019. However, in November 2019, he announced he would not run for the Polish presidency, citing that he has a bag of difficult, unpopular decisions since prime minister that would burden his candidacy. He is said to have been advised against a run by private opinion polls. He decided to run instead for the leadership of the European People's Party. As a result, party leader Grzegorz Stina decided to hold a convention in order to nominate a candidate for president. The primary was won by Malgorzata Kidowa Blonska. Malgorzata Kidowa Blonska resigned her candidacy on May 15, 2020, most likely as a result of falling poll numbers. After this, Rafal Terzaskowski became the new candidate of the Civic Coalition. He managed to receive over 1.6 million signatures, securing his eligibility to run in the election. After receiving 30.5% of the vote in the first round he was defeated by the incumbent Andre Duda in the second round, winning 49% of the vote. Nominee Malgorzata Kitowa Blonska, deputy marshal of the same declared, but lost at the primary convention, Jacek Yuskowiak, mayor of Poznan, declined. Donald Tusk, President of the European Council, former Prime Minister of Poland, and a candidate in 2005. Rafał Terzaskowski, Mayor of Warsaw since 2018. He was later named Civic Coalition's candidate after Kitowa Blonska's resignation. Radosław Sikorski, former Marshal of the same, former Minister of Foreign Affairs, and a candidate in primary in 2010. Later expressed interest to run after Kitowa Blonska resigned but was not considered by party leadership, which claimed to have chosen Terzaskowski, unanimously. Bartosz Arlukowicz, former Minister of Health. Tomasz Grodzki, Marshal of the Senate of Poland. In December 2019, PSL Chairman Władysław kosiniak kamysz announced that he would be launching a campaign for president. Declined Paweł Kukiz, leader of Kukiz, 15, MP, and candidate in 2015. At the beginning of January 2020, Wolodymyr Czerzysty said that the left would nominate Robert Biedron. Declined Adrian Zaberg, MP, co-leader of Lewitz Erasm, and co-chairman of the left. The party held an open primary, a first in Polish politics. The 2019-20 Confederation presidential primary is modeled on the U.S. style, with various rounds. Krzysztof Bosik was nominated during the final round of voting held at the convention in Warsaw on 18 January. Nominee. Declared, but lost in the primary election. Konrad Berkowicz, MP, and Vice Chairman of Korwin. Zegos Braun, MP, and Chairman of KKP. Artur Giambor, MP, and Vice Chairman of Korwin. Janusz korwin Mika, MP, and Chairman of Korwin. Paweł Skutecki, former MP from Kukiz, 15. Krzysztof Tolvinski, former MP from Law and Justice. Jacek Wilk, former MP from Korwin. Magdalena Zitek Wielomska, lawyer, philosopher, publicist and author, wife of Adam Wielomski. These are candidates who collected the necessary 100,000 signatures supporting their candidacy to run, but are not supported by parties currently in the same. These following candidates failed to submit 100,000 signatures supporting their run by the March 26 deadline. Newsweek the 15th of June 2020 cancelled TVP Info the 17th of June 2020 2100 moderated by Mihal Automchik.
TVN 24 the 19th of June 2020 cancelled Polsat News the 22nd of June 2020 cancelled Onet the 24th of June 2020 cancelled Duda and Terzaskowski both refused to take part in debates at each other's preferred media outlet and a proposal from Duda and supported by Terzaskowski to hold a joint debate hosted by TVP, Polsat and TVN was rejected by TVP director Jacek Kursky. TVN, TVN24, ONET and WP joint debate 1925, UTC plus 2, the 2nd of July 2020, cancelled by Duda's withdrawal, TVP Town Hall debate 2100, UTC plus 2, the 6th of July 2020, only Duda appeared, joint debate with more than 15 newsrooms, organized by Terzaskowski staff, announced the day before 2030, UTC plus 2, the 6th of July 2020, only Terzaskowski appeared. As there was no outright winner in the first round the top two candidates Andrei Duda and Rafal Terzaskowski advanced to the second round. Zyman Holonia and Krzysztof Bosik were third and fourth place respectively. Władysław Kaczyniak Kamish and Robert Biedron both underperformed expectations taking the fifth and sixth place. In the second round, there was a close race between Duda and Terzaskowski. Duda had a slight lead in 9 p.m. exit polls which gave him 50.4% of the vote to Derzaskowski's 49.6%. This was within the 2% margin of error leading to the pollster Ipsos announcing the race to be too close to call. Duda's vote share eventually amounted to 51.0%, thus securing his re-election. After voting had ended, Andre Duda invited Rafal Terzaskowski to the presidential palace to shake hands and end the campaign. Terzaskowski accepted, but stated that he would rather meet after official election results were announced. The next day, Terzaskowski congratulated Duda on his victory. U.S. President Donald Trump, President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, Lega Nord leader and former Italian Minister of the Interior Matteo Salvini, Lithuanian President Gatana Nauseda, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, Czech President Milos Zeman, Slovak President Zuzana Kaputova, and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky congratulated Duda on his victory. Observers viewed the election results as illustrating a divided Polish society. They also predicted that the PIS would continue pursuing its policies in a number of areas and clashing with the EU. Duda performed strongest among older, rural, and eastern voters. Civic Platform Party challenged results of the elections to the Polish Supreme Court, alleging irregularities and biased coverage by the state television. The appeal includes complaints from 2,000 persons, containing accusations of problems with voter registry, ballot papers not being sent in time as well as issues with voting abroad. Opposition leaders called the elections unfair and dishonest. The Supreme Court has August 3 to rule whether the election was valid.